Kelly, I have to tell you something. What? There's a reason I go out at night so often. I knew it because of the sluts, right, Roger? There are no sluts, Kelly. I need to show you something. I'm a superhero. Which one? The Ginger Panther! Was I supposed to know that one? Of course you were. May I ask how you became this Ginger Panther? <sighs> I was completely rebuilt by doctors. They put prosthetics in my body which made me more resistant. All my body hair was removed so I could run faster. I got heels on my boots that I use as weapons. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that you're a transvestite? What? Where did you get that from? You have prosthetics, you're all waxed, you wear a wig, high heels... It's to fight crime, Kelly! To fight crime? May I ask, how does that work? Uh, I go to several clubs, bars, and parties all over the city looking for bad guys who are planning to do some bad stuff. Okay, tell me one thing. When you're fighting crime, do you sometimes have sex with these bad guys? Well, yes, but... Yep. Makes sense. In an abandoned weapons factory on a paradise island in the Pacific, something terrible is about to happen. And the future of all humanity lies in the hands of only one intelligence agency. And this intelligence agency lies in the hands of just one agent, the sexy and daring Ginger Panther. Central, I've spotted the missile. Great. You will definitely find the missile's deactivation control at the end of the power cables on your right. I can see it. In fact, I think that... Oh my god. What happened, Ginger Panther? A villain with a metal jaw. It can only be Excavator Chin. You need to get past him, Panther. The fate of the entire West Coast depends on that. I was waiting for you, Mine Panzer. Who's that one now? That's Dr. Claus. He is one of the leaders of the organization. Quick, Panther, the missile can't be launched. Very well, very well, Miss Ginger. I wouldn't imagine you'd go that far. Oh, no. It's the Bronze Pirate. Wait, are you the one coming up with these nicknames for them? I'm starting to get a little uncomfortable with this situation. Can he have a nickname that's related to his personality? Or maybe a funny story about his life? I don't know. Panther, you have less than five minutes to avoid the launch. Just beat him up. But wait, guys, the dude is using a crutch. Is disability a prerequisite here, or...? Panther! All right, okay. Uh, where are the launching codes? It won't be that easy, my dear Panther. Oh, no! Guys, who's that one? This is the relentless Professor Marionette. See, now that's just mean. This one doesn't even have a cool villain name. You just chose a ridiculous nickname because of his disability. Two minutes, Panther! Speed up! Speed up? What do you want me to do? Should I punch him? Like, haven't we crossed the line here already? The missile will destroy the entire West Coast! Oh my god, but this is so wrong, I, I don't even know where to punch! America will pay for your weakness, Panther. Punch his face! But he's drooling, I don't know. Can I punch him in his forehead, is that okay? You can't defeat me, Panther. Ha 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 Okay. It, Panther, you disarmed the missile! By punching him? That makes no sense. Careful, Panther. The Professor Marionette's henchman can be a deadly opponent. He's known as the Cabbage. Don't be fooled by the machinery that keeps him alive and the family around his bed praying and hoping for his recovery. Oh, no. Guys, I'm done. I'm done. Hmm. What? Where am I? So, you're finally awake, Ginger Panther. I thought you wouldn't witness your doomy fate after all the hard work I put in. <laughs> Lord Tamakasu? 
What are you planning this time? Meet my terrible razor machine, Panther. That's your plan? Killing me with a laser? Of course not, Panther. The laser is only fatal if you're exposed to it for at least two years. And if you're not wearing SPF 50. But at this speed, it will already cause you Ritter harm. <laughs> Wait a minute. Your terrible laser is only ripping through my clothes and giving me a light tan. No. You're also suffering hundreds of micro burns that make your legs completely hairless. Did you really think I would drag you here to kill you so easily, Panther? You will suffer like you'll never have before. What are you going to do to me? <laughs> Well, this is starting to get a bit uncomfortable. I bet you weren't expecting such humiliation. Being dressed up as a schoolgirl? Does anybody expect this? How many people have you put inside this trap? Wait, has anyone else ever used this thong the machine put on me? Are you trying to blind me? Of course not. If I did, how would you see the photos of you I'm sharing on my WhatsApp groups? <laughs> mm, right. Yeah, that, that does sound horrible. Oh my god! The machine malfunctioned! And oh, now you're free. And right here where you have access to all these whips and spanking padders. Oh no. What's happening here, Lord Tamakazu? Now that you're free, I hope you don't make me pay for how much I tortured you, Panther. You're not getting any information out of me. Not even if you kick me in the balls with your heels, choke me with that rope on the wall on your left, or put me through the embarrassment of dressing me like a baby and rocking me to sleep. Okay, I'm done. I'm leaving. Kay, are you there? Oh, hello, Ginger. I'm great. And you? I'm not so good, Kay. Not so good. Really? Why is that? Well, to begin with, you gave me this communicator watch, but I didn't understand the part that it only communicates with you, Kay. I did not imagine that would be a problem, Ginger. That wouldn't be much of a problem. The only problem was when I was in the room with half of the Russian Mafia of Kaliningrad, and I discovered that the pen you gave me does nothing, Kay. I'm sorry, that pen is a Mont Blanc. And besides, writing upside down, it has a five-year warranty, Ginger. Are we talking about the same pen? Kay. I don't think you understand. I had to jump out the window. I really thought you were going to like it. This pen not only has a modern design and recognized elegance, but also it emphasizes your intelligence, strength, and independence as a human being. All right, Kay, what about the car? I can't even get the radio on. You mean your BMW i8 with carbon fiber reinforced plastic lightweight aerodynamically optimized body that offers the dynamic performance of a sports car with an expected zero to 100 kilometer sprint time of less than 4.5 seconds that I gave you for your birthday? That was on my birthday? I didn't know. I noticed you didn't even thank me, but that's all right, Ginger. Did you like it? What? I, I think, yes, I, I like it. Kay, I'm sorry, can you just tell me what this car can do? Did you hear the part that it's a BMW? Right, but what's special about it? Well, I didn't want to put it this way, but what's special is the half million pounds I spent on it. Well, I didn't actually spend all that money, but I'm going to spend it in 370 hefty payments over the next 30 years. Oh, shit. I was going to wait for a better moment to tell you, but I have a surprise for you. Open the glove compartment. I can't believe it, Kay. You are amazing. Open it. What? The grenade was just a trick to blow you away, to light up your face like a thousand flames? I thought this was so you. This is not how I thought my night would end. And it won't. 
The good news is that I've created a drone that's big enough to carry two machine guns, a flamethrower, and a system capable of generating an electromagnetic pulse to short circuit any electronic device within a four block radius. You're fucking with me, really? This drone can carry a lot of white, so taking out all the machine guns and junk, it can easily carry this huge bomb bear. Ta da! Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, this time you've really managed to surprise me. If you think that now, wait until you see what concert tickets this bear is holding in his fluffy paws. Oh, no. I cannot believe this. Again? Kay? I thought this was a costume party. Why did you think that? Oh, I don't know. Because you dressed us up in costumes? We're disguised for a mission. The purpose of a disguise is to go unnoticed. But in this case, we're the only ones here going unnoticed. We are an Australian couple. Completely natural. We're Australians? I thought the theme was cinema. Which also works. People only know Australia from the movies. If we were not dressed like this, they would find it strange. So if the disguise was of a couple from New Zealand, we would be dressed as hobbits, is that it? Panther, careful. The desk where Dr. Cyclopus is going to sit is at seven o'clock. Dr. Cyclopus? Okay, Central. That's it. If he's not a real Cyclops, we'll have to talk to HR tomorrow. I don't see him. It must be because he's in a disguise, Kay. Like, not wearing a disguise like we are. Welcome to the Golden Lucky Mirage Casino. Yeah, excuse me. Is there any logical reason why this casino was built in the middle of the Sahara Desert? I don't know if you noticed this, but there isn't even any road to get here. I think you're going to have to ask the casino owner that question. In fact, We'd love to meet him. He is already coming to greet you, Mr. and Mrs. Ah, yes, it's uh, Mr. Russell uh, Jackman and Miss Nicole Blanchett. Yes, Russell Jackman and Nicole Blanchett. Maybe I'd better announce that the Ginger Panther and Kay are here? W what even is the point of using these fake identities? Hmm? Well, it's our job, right? Oh, is it? You know, I don't seem to remember you disguised as a can-can dancer in France, sumo fighter in Japan, viking warrior in Sweden, and samba dancer in Brazil. Yes, all disguises of strong and eminent characters with established careers and active in the culture of their own countries. Did you know that the sumo wrestler was also one of Japan's top lawyers? They don't exist, Kay. And I'm always discovered the moment I step into a party, what's the point of being a secret agent if every time I walk into a place, everyone already knows who I am? I am. Hello, my dear Gingy. Uh, um, I mean, my dear and unknown Miss Nicole Branchett. It seems the most polite thing now would be to take you for a tour in my sinister casino in the middle of nowhere and tell you my evil plan to conquer the world to an app capable of transforming all the world's diamonds into bitcoins. Oh, what the fuck? I am Raw Tomo. <clears throat> I am Dr. Sacropus, oh, that's right, because of my eye, and I hope you do not have to disguise yourself as an other risk to find the documents in my living room on the second floor of the casino. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, got it. Central, I would really like to talk to HR. It's because of the eye patch, isn't it? Nope, it's because of my resignation letter. In a secret and mysterious underground laboratory, our fearless Ginger Panther is looking for a bomb that will destroy 12 islands in the Indian Ocean. But she can't even imagine that besides the bomb, she is also in the sights of a terrible machine that could disintegrate her in seconds. Oh no. Three, four, five. What is happening here? Eight. Nine. You're finished, Doctor. Now raise your hands from the panel and turn to me slowly. You cannot stop me, Panther. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What are you talking about? The machine isn't even pointing at me anymore. I, I already moved it. You think you're clever, don't you, Panther? As soon as I pull that lever 13 times, the world will know what the Doctor is capable of. 
Wait, 13 times? You you have to pull the lever 13 times? Only the blue lever on the left side of the lab. The one on the right side is just as dangerous. And since it's gray, I have to pull it nine times to destroy you completely. <laughs> and prevent anyone in my family from having an airplane crash. I'm sorry, but I, isn't it just better to go to the one on the right? I mean, it's... Well, it's even closer to you. I could do that, Panther, if the fucking architect had not installed this small tile floor in this part of the lab. I specifically said that I wanted a floor with big tiles, with room for my feet. And he puts in this bullshit bathroom decor. Okay, I got it. Look, why don't you just tell me which button here I have to push to turn the pump off, and we can get this over with. I spare you from having to step on this floor to go all the way to the computer. And you save me the trouble of whooping your ass. Ugh! Are you going to punch me with those hands? No way! You didn't wash your hands 23 times from left to right with the water at 73 degrees! Oh my god. You know what? Look, I'm sorry, and I, I totally understand your condition, but I have to break your teeth anyway. And if you don't tell me what I want to know, I'll... I'll lick your lab from top to bottom. What do you think of that? You wouldn't do that! Oh no? Doctor, I don't know what you imagine the life of a government secret agent is like, but I can assure you that this laboratory is the cleanest and most sterile place that I and my mouth have ever been. It's practically a relief to put my tongue on this floor. It's the coral blue button. Would you mind using some hand sanitizer and latex gloves before beating me to a pulp? Alright, so, going over mission, Italian Mafia is trading a cargo of enriched plutonium hidden in boxes of lasagna that are going to be- Excuse me, sorry to bother you, but can I take a picture of you and- Of course. <laughs> okay, what was that? I became a little famous after saving the world seven times with the Vendettas. Right. You know, that doesn't help much with the whole secret spy thing, right? It depends on what kind of secret spy you are. In my case, I am the kind of secret spy that is on the cover of two magazines every month and has 12 million followers on Instagram. Wait, you posted on Instagram that we're coming? Why? So we get free food from the restaurant. If it's a sponsored photo, you don't pay for dinner. But we're not going to... Look, we're not going to have dinner. We came for the mission. Of course I'm not going to have dinner. I was 20 the last time any nutrient hit my stomach, and I regret it to this day. Nowadays, I only drink water, and I pretend I'm eating for the photos I take. What people call a meal, I call a photo shoot. Yeah, what's the point of that? The food part is just an excuse to promote this cute outfit. This wig, these glasses, these contact lenses, and the facial peeling I got done yesterday. Oh. God, can we focus on the mission? The mobsters have already gone to the back of the restaurant. Okay, okay. Let me just inform my team. They're outside. Okay, this was supposed to be a secret mission. Do you really think no one is going to suspect if the vendettas are waiting outside? No, no, you got it all wrong. The mission is just for us. The team is shooting this reality show I have. We're not even supposed to look at them. Just pretend these eight people are not there. But if you can smile while doing the mission, it will be great. You know what? That's it. I don't even think it's worth doing anymore. They probably already left by now. I doubt it. I recorded three stories showing where we were, and there's like 200 people waiting outside for me already. Don't worry, they're not going anywhere. Secret mission saved once more. In an unusual partnership between government agencies, our Ginger Panther will try to collaborate with strange government agents who seem to have astonishing information about an old enemy of hers. Panther, we have strong suspicions that Lord Tomokazu is an extremely dangerous alien. So from now on, we'll take care of him. By take care of him, you mean... Kill him. It's the only way. Well, that seems pretty extreme. Especially if we consider that you only have strong suspicions, right? Right. 
But that's what we've been doing for over 70 years, so you can trust us. Sorry, what kind of special agency is this again? We are the men in white. Which includes me. There are only two women and 340 men, so it wouldn't make much sense to change the name. We classify and chase all extraterrestrial beings that enter our planet and represent a threat to our survival. Right. And what are the strong suspicions that he's an alien? This is sounding a little weird to me. Even though they try to disguise themselves and infiltrate into our world for evil purposes, the aliens usually have very different behaviors from ours. They don't eat our food. They speak differently. Their bodies are almost the same as ours, but with small differences that make them stand out. Uh huh. Like what? You can see Lord Tamakazu's eyes, for example. Look how tight they are. Are your eyes like that? Mine neither. Oh boy, what kind of other aliens have you been going after? We have identified several different types. Right. What do you say we question these supposed aliens and try to get more information about their possible origin? How are we going to question them if they're dead? Maybe some dead alien might still be able to speak, but we don't think so. Yeah, but that's what I mean. You could interrogate them before the killing thing. Hmm. Unusual. I don't know if this is going to be very efficient. We'll end up killing less of them this way. And there's the whole germ issue. Just talking to them can be quite dangerous. Yeah, you have all these cool and advanced toys. Can't you just create a mask to avoid these germs? We already have. But whenever we put it on, people get riled up in the streets. We're still studying this possibility, but it seems that the aliens become aggressive when they see the color white. Maybe we could hold up something that is burning close to our faces to kill the germs. It's a simple solution, but it could work. Okay. You know what? I think this collaboration between agencies might not be such a great idea. I think we're quite different. Different? What do you mean, different? In a castle in the upscale area of Megalopolisville, a kidnapping is about to happen! To prevent this, our sexy and powerful Ginger Panther has infiltrated the party. Central, I've already infiltrated the party. The rich really are eccentric. There are even chimpanzees at this party. Looks kind of like Mad Max, but really fancy. So, what other agent is infiltrated? Is it Agent Craig, who solved that ordeal at the casino? Oh, Agent Brosnan, who broke into a Russian factory. So, it's actually going to be Audrey. She's a new agent. New agent? This mission is extremely risky, and you sent in an agent who just came out of training to help me? She hasn't even trained at all. She was a supermarket cashier who discovered that her ex was a spy, got involved in his plot, and ended up saving the world. Again with this spy by accident shit. What is that fixation you have? You, you don't see a person being operated on by a doctor by accident, a defendant being defended by a lawyer by accident. No one will ever suspect them. Don't you remember the Spy Brothers? Oh, don't even mention them. They became spies because they found out their parents were spies. There's no merit in that at all. In fact, the parents should be fired. They couldn't even fool two young children. Considering that Audrey might still be too green for the mission, we also sent two more undercover agents, Agents Chan and Lu. Let me guess. Chan is an Asian man in a suit, and Lou is a beagle puppy, right? Chan's already been on two spy missions. The dog also inadvertently joined the spy team after accidentally entering into a cat-dog dispute. Everybody against that wall! This is a kidnapping! Whoever moves will get shot! <laughs> what was that? The kidnappers revealed themselves, but got knocked out by the party's chimpanzee. He can totally become a spy. A spy by accident, obviously. Great. That's just... just great.